Hello, I want us to see how to go about setting page validation in our form. And for read validation, basically we are dealing with uh, numerical values. So we can pick an example of a pulse so that we can uh, have our maximum and minimum values set in the field properties. And we can use the schema editor. And let's just go ahead and set our minimum value for pulse. As uh, 49 and our max or maximum value as 230. So we need to render the changes and uh, once we have rendered the changes, uh, it's important that we now can test whether uh, our form is going to accept values below 49 or values above 230 because that is what we have set our, our minimum and max values. So if we enter 48, uh, we can see that already there is a frag here. And uh, the message is very clear that the values need to be greater than 49. So if we check this and make it 49, uh, now that value is uh, acceptable. Uh, on the maximum uh, value side, if we have our 230 uh, value there, there's no frag because that is what we have set as our max value. As you can see, if we set it as 231, uh, the system has fragged that for us and basically says that the value must be lower than 230. So um, when you have your form with the numeric fields, um, just check across and see what values uh, requires uh, a specific lead so that you can set those across. And uh, you can see that it's really quite uh, straightforward. You just set your minimum and maximum value range for, for that. And then you render the changes and save to ensure that, that change is uh, now in your in your form or that that validation has now been incorporated in your form. And, and that's like basically it with regard to range validation. Thank you so much for listening.